concept of proportion is very simple. All we need to do is understand a couple of simple examples. Assume you have a computer screen of the size 40 cm by 30 cm at home and you've been asked to draw that screen in your notebook. What do you do then? You cannot draw a 40 cm by 30 cm screen in your notebook. Your notebook would be too small for that. So what you do is scale the size down. This term is very important. You scale the size down. It means you draw a smaller figure which is similar to the earlier one. You may draw a small screen like this with length 4 cm and width 3 cm. This will fit into your notebook. Here the ratio of the length to the breadth is 4 is to 3. If you had a bigger book, you would have maybe scaled it down to 8 cm by 6 cm. In this case, the ratio of the length to the breadth would be 8 is to 6. Let's talk about the first case. Why 4 is to 3? The ratio of the length to the breadth of the actual computer screen is 40 by 30. When reduced, it can be written as 4 by 3. Basically, if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 10, we get 4 by 3. Now let's look at the second case of 8 by 6. The ratio of the actual screen was 40 by 30. If both the numerator and the denominator are divided by 5, we get an equivalent ratio of 8 by 6. 40 divided by 5 equals 8 and 30 divided by 5 equals 6. What did you notice in this example? What are we trying to maintain? We are trying to maintain the same ratio. All the three ratios 40 by 30, 4 by 3 and 8 by 6 are actually equal. We just change the numerator and the denominator based on the requirement. Here we had to draw a smaller screen and hence we reduce the numerator and the denominator proportionally. That's proportion. It's nothing but equivalent ratios. Let's take a similar example to understand proportionality. Look at this person. To sketch this person in your notebook, you would draw a proportional figure like this. All the elements, his height, his width, his hands, his legs have been proportionally reduced. What if we would have drawn the figure like this? It can clearly be seen that this sketch is not proportional to the original person. Since it's not in proportion, the sketch seems to be a fatter person even though the person is lean and tall. This is all you had to understand in the topic of proportion. Now let's get back to our first example. Since 40 by 30 and 4 by 3 are equal ratios, we say that 40 by 30 and 4 by 3 are in proportion. And similarly, 40 by 30 and 8 by 6 are also in proportion. If you observed well, you'd say even these two ratios are equal. If we divide the numerator and the denominator of this ratio by 2, we get 4 by 3. Hence, we say that the ratios 4 by 3 and 8 by 6 are also in proportion. There's a special way to write it. We write it as 4 colon 3, 2 colons and 8 colon 6. 4 colon 3 simply is the ratio 4 by 3 and 8 colon 6 is the ratio 8 by 6. And these two colons in between are used to denote equal ratios. It tells us that this ratio is equal to this ratio. Remember, proportion simply means equivalent ratios. And this symbol means the same as or equal to. So this can be read as 4 is to 3 is the same as 8 is to 6.